Are you aware of GitHub API? And what things can you do by using GitHub API? In this video, we will be creating this basic portfolio which displays our projects that we have worked on. What's interesting about this video is that all these projects that you're seeing over here in this portfolio is not hard coded. All this info is being pulled from GitHub by using GitHub API. As of now, you can see three projects over here. And if I go to my GitHub account, and as of now, I have just started three projects. You can see GitHub permission denied, React website hosting, and email attachments using Node Mailer. All these projects, those same three projects are in my portfolio as well. Now, if I go and star one of other projects, which will be drum kit starting files. So if I go and star that project and come to my portfolio and refresh it, you can see that that new project has been automatically added into my portfolio. So this video is especially for you. If you are sick and tired of updating your portfolio every time you finish a new project. And now with a single click of a button, you can add GitHub projects into your portfolio. I will also add this demo project in my GitHub account so that you can use it. But please understand the basic working principle at first by watching this video. So let's get started. At first, what I will do is go to my folder and create a new project, which will be GitHub API for good easy. I'll open the VS code in a new window and simply drag and drop that folder. Now inside this folder, at first I will create a new file, which will be our index.html file. And I will fill this up with HTML5. And this we will give GitHub API and save it. After that, so we will create a new styles.css and link that styles.css over here now i already have a predefined style for my project so i'll simply copy and paste that so you can also get this from my github account i'll save it now inside this body we will create one h1 tag and we'll give that data as projects and we'll create another div with class as container and inside that container i will add my basic project setup now once our html and css is ready let's go live and check how this currently looks now as of now you can see it is starting to take some shape it has got projects as our main header and over here we can see one container which has no image as of now and with two buttons now the main part is using github api and actually pulling all the data from your github account let's go back to our html file and let's create a new script.js file and inside this script.js is where we will write our javascript and we will also use github api so the github api will look something like this for me now over here what you have to do is you have to put your username in place of this username in this specific section so we will be using this link in this demonstration now at first what we will do is target this uh, container so that we can add all our projects inside this container let's go back to script.js file and define a variable with let's say git projects and we'll simply use document dot query selector and we'll target that container and save it now once we are done with that and then we will fetch all the data from this github api using fetch now we simply type fetch this url copy that put it in this fetch and after we fetch the API, what we will do is with the response that we get from the fetch, we will simply check if the response is okay. We return response.json. If the URL is working and we get response okay, then we will return 
uh, response.json so this json file will have all your info about the github and all the info about your github repositories as well and else we just console log that response dot status text so if it fails then we will get the status text on where it and how it failed now once we have the response in json we will then simply with the result for now we will simply console log and see how our result currently looks before checking if our script is working we will first need to link this script.js file to our index.html so what we will do here is script and our source will be script.js save it and let's open our website and refresh it and you can see that we have seven different objects and each object has the details about your github repositories so as of now we have seven repos and if we go and check over here we have seven different objects as well so our script.js file is working now the only thing that we need to do is use this response.json and inject it in our html so that it renders projects and also to make sure that it only renders the project that we have starred in our github account so now we will create a for loop at first so let's write a for loop i is zero i less than result dot length i plus plus now once i do that i will go back to my website and if i open one of these and scroll down here somewhere here i can see that stargazers count as one so if your repository has been starred then you will get stargazer count as one and let's check for this portfolio portfolio if we go and open this and scroll down to see that stargazers count which is zero so if your project has been started then you get the stargazers count as one if not you get it as zero so let's go back to visual studio and inside this for loop what we will do is if result index i dot star gazers count is not equal to zero then only console log the result of that index now if we save this code and go back to our website now you can only see those four projects which have been start in our github now if i go back to visual studio and instead of not equal to zero if i do one and save it go back to portfolio and you can see those three projects which we have not started are now console logged so we will keep this as zero for now now we do not need this console log what we need is we need to actually render in front end so we will create a new variable which is pros and inside that variable we will be using template literals the reason why we are using these template literals is because we can write html and javascript code inside these template literals and inside these template literals what we will do is we will add our html the body of all the projects now we will be using the info that we get from that api and render it in the browser so in this image source we do not have anything as of now in this title what we can add is we go back and let's open one of these objects and inside these objects you will have a key value pair and we will be looking for something called name so this name that you see over here is the name of the repository which we will be using in here inside this title so result of index i dot name and save it now as of now our website is not working because we simply have 
created this project variable but we have not actually appended this project into our html so to do that what we need to do is once after this project variable we will need to get this git project and insert adjacent html and that is adjacent html will be our project and we will be inserting it before end so that is basically at the end of this container after all the things where now this container just has this project container so our this our contents will be after this projects container so we'll type before end and pause which will be implementing save it and go back to your website now you can already see that these projects are now visible in your website let's go back to our visual studio code and now since we do not need this because this is just a dummy skeleton for all the projects you can simply remove that save it open your portfolio and you will only see these four projects now so the main part of adding the projects is done let's go back to our repository and let's star one of the projects go back to website and refresh it you can see that project has been added as well so this is that simple just with a single click of a button you can add as many projects to your portfolio now we have added the projects but none of these buttons are functional so if i click on this button nothing happens it just opens the same website in other window if i click on this button nothing happens so what we now need to do is add the thumbnail and make these buttons functional as well so that whenever someone clicks on these buttons they get directed to the correct websites and web pages and github repo as well so let's go back to our visual studio and inside this script.js now what we need to do is we just simply need to update this variable with using all the info that we get from the api now let's go move to description section and this description section will basically get info from your repos description which is over here so this is a demo project now let's go back to our visual studio code and in this description section we will again insert result of that index and dot description and save it go back to website check it and you can see the description has now been added this is basically the same description which is over here because and none of these other projects have description because those descriptions are not present in github so let's go and add some description to this repository and we'll simply say this is a demo description save the changes Let's go back to our portfolio and refresh it you can already see the changes in this portfolio website right now let's complete the other remaining things as well so now the main part is to make these two links functional and we will do that by adding links over here so whenever someone clicks on this github repo button we need to direct them to that particular github repo so the url for that will be something like this simply paste it over here so https github.com code easy which is my github account and this particular thing over here is the name of the repo if we go to my actual repository i have github.com my username and name of the repository that's simple so github.com my username and name of that repo which we already got that in the title so we are simply copy and pasting that over here same with the website if you if you have used github pages to host your website then you can simply add for example let me go back to this project settings and if i go on pages you can see that i have hosted this particular website using github pages so if i click on that i get the website for this project 
I can simply put this thing in my href over here and this will open my website. Let's save it, open website and refresh it. If I click on GitHub repo, this will open the repository. If I click on website, this will open the website. If I click on this drum kit files, let's see if it opens the drum kit repo. Yes, it does open the drum kit repo. Let's try with this one and it's opening the email attachments. So everything's working for repo. How about websites? If I click on website, it's opening the React project website. If I click on this, it's opening the same React app. If I click on that, it's opening the same React app because over here in our code, we have not added the URL to that specific website. So for that as well, we simply copy it and paste it. Now, the only thing that is remaining is to add images, images to your projects, because as of now, all we are getting is this thumbnail and image not available. So our buttons are working. You are getting all the description. You're getting the title and you can add as many projects as you want by simply clicking on star button. So everything is pretty much done. Now, the only thing is to add images. So to do that, what we need to do is whenever you are pushing any projects to your GitHub account, you need to create a separate folder where you add thumbnail to that particular project. For example, if I open this GitHub permission denied folder, I have created a separate folder as thumbnail. If I click on that, I have added thumbnail.png. So whenever I create a project i add this additional step i add this folder and add image inside that folder so that i can access this image in my project so let's go back to our visual studio and over here in this source we will simply copy this link and paste it over here right so this is the url that i am using to add image in my portfolio to refresh it now you can see that the Im image is now added uh, and i'm not getting images on other projects because i have not added that particular thumbnail folder and added the thumbnail in other projects so if i go back and open any other github repo you cannot see that thumbnail folders because i have not added that thumbnail now just for this project just for the demonstration, if I go inside this images folder and and simply use this code logo.png, which is personal portfolio, right? So in this personal portfolio, now what I'll do is so change this thumbnail to images, right? Code logo.png. Go back to project and you can see that logo has been added in this personal projects only because that particular file is not available in any of the other projects so to make it look consistent what you need to do is on every projects that you create and push it in github you need to create that thumbnail folder and name that image or thumbnail as thumbnail.png and if you're using jpg for one project then you need to use jpg for all the projects and if you're using png for one project then you'll need to use png for all other projects so this is the source url to get into my repo and inside the actual folder so you can simply uh, add your username in this in this place and this will basically stay the same this will uh, also remain the same and whatever folder that you create but that has to be consistent across all the projects and whatever name that you want to give and also that has to be consistent across all the projects to display everything in your website so if you miss that folder for one of the projects then you will get something like this so that's it guys that's how you use github api and integrate it into your portfolio so that you don't have to keep updating your portfolio again and again once you are done creating a new project i hope this video was really helpful and you will be using this process to add as many projects into your portfolio thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one